Hello everyone, this is going to be kind of a, a video about baptism. I'm going to get ready, shower, also trim my beard a little bit, and then we'll get started. Stay tuned. reaching out. You're doing it as unto the Lord. You're not just doing it for that person. You're doing it unto the Lord. Amen. Alright, so I finished showering. Now I'm just got changed. I'm ready to leave. I have to stop by the church before I do anything. Look how cool this bracelet is. Alright. Once I get going down the road and finish up at the church, then I'll get back with you and then we'll start the video like actually start the video. Alright, so I'm at my haircut. I'm gonna get it finished. And then once I get out, we'll head to the first location. To kind of keep you wondering what's even gonna happen. I've gotten baptized three times. Stay with me. Um, three times, and each time was different. Each time was at a different place in a different church. And I'm going to get to that story after the haircut. I'll be right back. I'm done getting my haircut. I'm just going to kind of explain this real quick before I go because I'm going to take the top off. This weather is way too beautiful not to take it off. But, alright, so I'm going to take you to the first place that I got baptized, if I can find it. It's been so long, probably like 2000, 
seven or eight maybe maybe even before then i'm not really sure and i'm gonna try to find it it's where i used to live and see if i can figure out where that church is at <clears throat> i'm not gonna go in the church or anything i'm just gonna kind of show you where it's at drive around a little bit give you the backstory of why i got baptized there and then go to the second spot and explain why i got baptized there and then go to the third spot and just kind of explain each time why it was different and what you should be doing and why you should be baptized and reasons why you shouldn't get baptized and don't take that out of context because we should all be baptized in obedience but it's nothing that's going to grant us salvation the only thing that can do that is faith in jesus christ and what he done for us baptism is just obedience and jesus gave that example to be baptized and john the baptist was like no lord you should be baptizing me he's like no this is an example that not only did i get baptized you should too so i'm going to take you and we're going to go to each place if i find the first place if not i'll just start recording and do the video without finding it and we'll figure out what goes from there enjoy the ride fresh haircut I kind of like it. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. Like a little faux hawk with curls or maybe even start a mullet. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'm going to take the top off real quick. It's a really nice day out. I got the top off. Probably gonna stop and get some food first. And then I'm gonna ch attempt to find this place. I really am going by very light memories and try to figure it out. We'll talk soon. See you later. Point Baptist Church. Pretty sure this is it. Praise the Lord because I was just going off memory and distinct, like little pieces of things that I remembered as a kid. I was no more than sixth or seventh grade, I cannot remember. Pretty sure that, yep, this is it. That's awesome. Dude, this is wild to me. I'm just gonna go around. I don't know if this is the same pasture or not. Here's the church. We used to go in that door for like Sunday school or Bible study or something. And there's your like community center. We used to play in this yard back here and there's a basketball hoop that was put up, but this is wild to me. I remember like throwing football or something right there. Picnic up there. And there was a house somewhere up through here.
There's a house somewhere up through there, I think. And almost every time after church, we would go and like play or do something. But whenever I got baptized this time, I was too young to really know why we got baptized. I just knew that we did it. Ever, I seen people do it and I thought I was supposed to do that. And I felt the need to do that. And as of right now, don't think anybody really explained to me why we did it. They may have, but where I was so young and it was so long ago, maybe I don't remember. But the point is, is to realize that that you're dying with Christ and then coming out of the water is the resurrection with Christ. And I don't know if anybody ever told me that or maybe they did, I just don't remember. But this was the first time and then we're going to go to the second destination. I might try to get the church that I was going to at the time. Or I might just go to uh, the spot where I actually got baptized. They have like a little, I don't know what you would call it. It's just like a little small pool type thing. Right there near the uh, altar. And that's where they did their baptism whenever I was going to church here. And like I said, it was 6th or 7th grade. Like, how old is that? Like, I don't even know, honestly. I can't think right now. I was probably maybe like 11 or something. I have no idea. Anyway, but that's the first time I got baptized. And if you're watching this and you're trying to figure out why I got baptized three times, well, this is the reason, like, you need to know why you're getting baptized, not just because everybody else is doing it and you think that's what you're supposed to do. It is, like, it's an obedience, just like anything else, but we should still know why we're doing it, not just doing something just because everybody else is doing it. And once again, there's the church. I don't even know if that's the same preacher or not. But I'm going to go to the next destination, and we'll go from there. The, the other one's about almost 30 minutes to an hour away. But I'll see you there, and then we'll go to the, well, actually, I might hit the last time I got baptized because it's on the way, and then edit it to where it's one, two, three, and then go to the second one since it's out of the way past the second to last time so it'll be first third second but i'll edit it to where you don't even tell the difference i'll edit it to where you don't even tell the difference but i'm gonna get back on the road i'll see you soon I don't know if something was going on or I don't know if I was allowed to be there or what. Somebody was like staring at me. Um, that's the church that I was attending the second time I was baptized. And I just stopped by the church. Now we're going to go to where I got baptized. And I also have a, a photo that I'm going to show you once I get there. 
the crazy thing about the photo, the date that's printed on it is like uh, futuristic. It's like 10 years after the fact. So if I got baptized in 2011, no, it was, so it's like 20 years ahead. It's like 20 years ahead instead of whatever the date was actually supposed to be it printed off 2031 I don't even know what that means who knows but I've got the picture I'll show it after we get to the spot and then I'll go to the third one and then we'll wrap this video up I know it wasn't too informational it's just kind of like my personal testimony I guess for being baptized and I'm not at all condoning like if you've been baptized just because I was baptized again doesn't mean that you have to get baptized again I'm just simply saying you should know why you're getting baptized and if you've been baptized before and then you feel the need to like now that I know what it means to be baptized talk to the preacher that you're going to church or if you haven't found a church yet, talk to one of them once you attend and let them know your situation and see what they think. As for me, I felt the need that I needed to get baptized again because I just didn't know what it meant the other two times. And I'm honestly not sure for the second time. I was pretty young then too. Maybe I was confused and when I was that old, I didn't realize that I had gotten baptized, or maybe I forgot. I don't know. Once we get to the second destination, then I'll talk more about it. I'll see you when I get there. That's the park that I was at. I have a picture that I'm gonna put right here. This is the picture that I was telling you about that had the weird date on it. And I honestly was confused when I saw it. And then obviously like your little, oh, it's, it must mean something. And it made me think about random different things because you just think about stuff like that when you see something happen. But once I put all this together, this video, and then I'm gonna get home and sit down and kinda explain all of it. I know I've kinda explained a little bit, but I wanna explain like, that obviously this isn't a video trying to get you to get baptized again. This is a video just to help you understand what it means to get baptized so that you don't have to get baptized again or so you don't have to feel like getting baptized more than once because you do it right the first time. You do it right after the fact of this video or whatever. If you feel the need to do it again and you talk to your preacher and he suggests, yeah, maybe you should do it again now that you know what it means and then go from there. I'll see you all when I get home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's not really been fun or just any other video that I've done before, but it's just something that I thought that maybe I should talk about. That way people would understand that you should be baptized in obedience to the Lord and what He did and how He gave us the example. But at the same time, we need to know what it means. That's why one thing that I don't agree with, with the Catholics or whoever else that baptize babies whenever they're born, it's the idea that 
you need to be saved before you do that, before you get baptized. And a baby can't be saved. It hasn't accepted Jesus and repented of its sins or whenever it came to the conclusion that it wanted to do that and then wanted to get baptized. That baby doesn't know what the baptism means or why that water's getting poured on them. Here's the third spot. And I actually have a video for it. And I'll go ahead and play it. Don't let him up. <laughs> no, don't let him up. That boy can get up on his own. Father God, we come here today in obedience to the precious word of God. Preston is following you, following your commands. So we therefore baptize him in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I hope everybody has enjoyed this video. Once I go to the ending, I'll explain a little bit more things. Maybe I'll put up some scriptures to kind of show and back what I'm talking about. And then I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, I made it back home. Um, I guess the real message for this video and like trying to explain everything is whenever some accept Jesus to be their savior at an early age. Maybe they don't know what it really means until their spiritual minds mature and now they understand why we get baptized and they do it again. But this is a video to kind of explain like I'm a great example that it happened. For conscience sake, we understand it more. As we get older, we realize certain things and sometimes if you have somebody that's able to guide you and explain things to you or just come to you and ask if you know what it means to be saved or if you know what it means to be baptized and that's helpful too and again i may have had that i just didn't remember but as i got older and then rededicated my life to christ and repented of my sins i realized i think that i should get baptized again because I guess I'd never understood the concept of when we go under the water, we're dying with Christ and being resurrected out of the water with Christ as he rose on the third day. So it's just a good thing to know before you do it. Just like anything, like if you're just trying to read the word and you're just reading it to read it, it might be beneficial if you had somebody to help you out a little bit or to understand that you can pray about it and have the Holy Spirit guide you. That's what I typically try to do is pray a little bit before and allow the Holy Spirit to guide me on what to read. Like I haven't read the whole Bible 
and I didn't start in Genesis. I felt like the Holy Spirit was guiding me to Revelations first. And then I went to, I think it was James, and then Luke, or maybe it was Luke, then James. And then I went 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, and it just slowly started moving. And now I'm in Isaiah. I think I'm in the 15th chapter. And I have one of our teachers, our Sunday school teachers, was doing that lesson as I started. So it, it, I'm not saying that that fit hand in hand, but maybe the Holy Spirit was moving with me. And as soon as I started Russell's Chapel, they were going over that. So it was like, I think I, I had the Holy Spirit kind of speaking to me about Isaiah and then I started reading it. And there's so many prophecies in Isaiah that maybe the Sunday school lessons really helped me. And he gave me the whole lesson guide so I could go through it by myself. And I've asked him questions too to just try to verify that I knew what was going on. And I knew certain situations like, is this what's going on here? Is is this talking about this? And just going through it because he's studied it. He did the lesson on it. So... Shout out to Cody. He's a great teacher. And I just felt like, wow. Just started Russell's Chapel, and I'm in Isaiah, and that's the lesson that they're on. And it just amazed me because the Holy Spirit, like, as soon as I got in there, spoke to me about Isaiah, went in there, and was like, here's some guidance, too, to help you through it. And it just really resonated with me to know that I need to speak to the Holy Spirit. I need to pray about it before I read it. And pray before I read it. Pray after I read it. You can go through it however you want to go through it. But that's just really been helpful to me. Because I don't want to just go through it and go through the motions of just reading. Because this is a living word. I want it to be a conversation like, all right, this is what we want to talk about now. All right, Preston, this is what I want to show you now. And this is something I want to show you. This is something else I want to show you. And then I started thinking about videos to do. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me about that said thing through his word. And I was reading through it and I was like, wow, I just thought about doing a video like this. And then I pray and this is the scripture that God's guiding me through. So it's like fitting like a glove, like waiting and being patient. Because there's been some times where I'll do my devotionals, but I won't read in my spare time until I feel like I have a for sure answer. I think that's only happened once. It took a couple of days to really figure out because I was led into like, let's just say for instance, Ephesians, Acts, Exodus. And then Luke. And then I'd pray and I felt like it was narrowing it down to two. And then I prayed again on the second day and it narrowed it down to Luke. And then I started reading Luke or just something along the lines of that. So with this video, talk to your preacher. You may be young, but if you see this video and you want to get baptized and you want to know why, don't just do it to do it. At least talk to somebody and figure out why I'm Am I doing this? Do I understand it fully? Because some, for my instance, I may have had that happen. I just don't remember. But I'm pretty sure the first two times, I never had anybody really explain to me you were dying with Christ and being resurrected with Christ. But hope everybody enjoyed this video. Nice little scenery. Those are some beautiful houses too. Um, like, subscribe. We have all our services is going to be in a playlist if you want to go and watch them. I'll try to leave it up here. Some, that way you can view it, look at some sermons. Sometimes I have visuals. Like one of them I went fishing and the sermon was on fishing. And just different kind of things. And sometimes I just do this church service. Like the last video i done, I had a little bit of scenery stuff and it was the church service completely. But... Like, subscribe if you're new, share this with somebody that maybe is getting baptized and you want to see and make sure that they know what it means to be baptized. Hope everybody has a wonderful night. 
good morning, whatever the case, whenever you watch this video. God bless.